Adding remote inputs is easy with the new TIO1608D interface box. Let's see how you connect it to the TF series. The first thing you'll want to do is install the NY card in the back of your console. We do that by taking off the cover of the installation slot, like so. And then we'll put the NY card in the slot, like so. Push it in until it snaps, and you can use those same screws to put it back just like so. So now that we've installed the card, all we need to do is run Cat5e or better cable between the NY64 card right here out of the primary slot over to our TIO boxes. Now we're on the other side here hooking up the TIO boxes. I have my cable. I'm going to go right into the primary of one of the boxes. It could be any one of these. It really doesn't matter. Just make sure that your dip switches on the back here are all pushed up because we're going to use quick config mode and that's the way you'll want these set. If you're going to run it outside in the sunshine, you may want your fans at a little higher speed. That's why there's a dual speed fan on these. And now that you've cabled to your first TIO box, we'll just cable out and daisy chain right down to the next box, secondary to primary and secondary to primary. Now you've cut all your inputs and all your outputs on one CAT5e or CAT6 cable. How about that? We've come back around to the front of the console and you can see the TIOs have been uh, set up here with no power on yet. I'm going to make sure that the unit IDs are set. I've set these as unit ID 1, 2, and 3. And I'm in quick config mode on all three of these TIO boxes. So now all I need to do is switch these on and let Dante take care of the rest of my work for me and it's already going to cable these for us. You'll notice right away that you're getting flashing lights as it goes under synchronization and as the console figures out which boxes are where. The output side on the TIO boxes is that the first TIO box is aux 1 through 6 and the last two outputs, 7 and 8, are stereo left and right. You get aux 7 through 12 on your second TIO box and you get stereo left and right again. Figuring that you might want to place these boxes on stage, maybe stage left, stage right, and then you'd be able to get your stereo outputs wherever you need them. Your last output section up here on the top TIO is, um, is your other auxes as they come all the way up. So this is aux... Um, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. So you have everything all in these three boxes. Now that you have your TIO boxes connected and into your NY card in the back of the mixer, you need to come to the mixer and finish setup. So we go to the settings, we go to our slot setup right here, and you go make sure your quick config is highlighted and you'll notice all of your inputs and outputs have been populated for you in every box you have connected. So they've already been patched, so you're good to go. You'll notice down here at the bottom, there's a check mark and it says with output, that's all grayed out. In quick config mode, this doesn't matter because we are forcing the outputs to be patched the way they are here. In slot number one, where your first TIO box is connected, you have aux one through six, and stereo left right. If you go to your second TIO box, you'll notice 17 through 32 inputs, but also aux 7 through aux 12 plus stereo again. We did that so in case you were placing the TIO boxes on one side of the stage and then the other, you could easily cable. And then finally in slot number three, you get the uh, other aux sends. 13 through 20, uh, and all of the other inputs that are available to you there as well. Notice too from this screen that you have the ability to identify one of your stage boxes. When you use this feature, 
It'll make it very easy for you. All the lights on the front panel of your TIO box will flash to let you know which box you're looking at. Great for a dark stage. Thank you so much for watching. For more information, go to the link below.